Hello everyone, my name's John. And my name's Krista. And welcome to the Lost World Museum. Today in this video, we're gonna talk about the... Megalodons. Megalodon. People are gaga over Megalodon. And sharks in general, although I have no idea why. I think they're personally quite scary and weird. For the last 10 years, people have become more and more aware of the Megalodon. It's been in movies, it's been on the internet, and people are just fascinated with this huge creature. The question is, where did they come from? When did they die off? How big were they? And, you know, are they still alive today? I that's what we're gonna, <laughs> That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Here we go. So when did the Megalodon swim the oceans and seas? Well, according to paleontologists from an evolutionary perspective, they lived between 23 million years ago to 2.6 million years ago. But we're going to add a creationist perspective in that the Megalodon was created 6,000 years ago. And as far as we know, they all died out in the worldwide flood 4,500 years ago. So in order to find out how large a Megalodon is, the first thing we have to do is to discover just exactly how big the teeth are. And we have a Megalodon tooth here that my wife Kristen is going to show you that is 6.3 inches long. Now, the longest tooth ever found was in Peru at seven and a half inches long. That's a pretty big tooth. But I had somebody tell me that one of the tour guide operators who spends a lot of time in the high deserts um, in southern Peru, that he found a tooth that was a megalodon tooth that was 12 inches long. 12 inches. Because he, you know, feels that fossils and the earth are sacred, he reburied it. Now, I can't verify that, but boy, if that were true, I mean, you're talking enormous. I wouldn't even want to think about how big that was. All right. So, I mean, just with this tooth alone, you'll see just exactly how big these bad boys are. Um, and they're big. Let's do a, now a comparison with today's shark. What we have here is a replica of a modern day shark tooth. Now, the interesting thing about sharks is that we know <laughs> how big they are based on their tooth size. The ratio is 10 to 1. For every inch of tooth, the shark is 10 feet long. Here's an ancient shark. Here's a fossilized ancient shark tooth. It is two and a half inches tall. That means for the ratio of one inch for every 10 feet, the shark that owned this tooth would have been 25 feet long. Which means that if we were to use that ratio, and we don't know if we can or not, that's the problem with the megalodon, the megalodon that owned this tooth would have been approximately 62 feet long, okay? And again, if that story is true, that he found a 12-inch tooth, then you're talking 100... 120 feet long megalodon. Monster. Crazy. No. Now... Megalodon is not the name for something that big. No, no, it's mega megalodon. <laughs> Look, on the internet, you'll see megalodons anywhere between 45 to 67 feet. It used to be 100 feet. I don't know why they've changed it over the last 10 years, but I've seen as much as 82 feet if you really look on there other than Wikipedia. What we're gonna do next is, is that we're gonna show you from the ground and from the air what 72 feet looks like. Are you ready to go outside? We're gonna go outside. My wife, Kristen, and I are gonna go outside and she's going to run down the road 72 feet with this tape measure and we're gonna show you what 72 feet looks like. Then we're going to go to the parking lot and we're gonna rise above it with a drone and show you again with chalk marks of a, a megalodon using our car for reference and John laying there. And my laying there, we're gonna show you 72 feet of what a Megalodon full size looks like. You ready to go? Absolutely. Let's go, here we go. Okay, Kristen, 72 feet, are you ready? Yeah. This is how long a Megalodon Come is. Come with me. All right, go for it. Again, that is one big fish. All right, I'm cold. Let's go back inside. That was cold, but we got it. And what did you take away from running 72 feet? It's so much bigger than you think. And that's some, definitely something I would not want to meet in the water. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Now let's go to the parking lot and take that drone up in the air and see what it looks like as far as seeing the girth and the size of it. Here we go.
All right, we're back on the ground. That's a big fish, isn't it? Yeah, and our goal is to bring to life the ancient world. You know, everybody, again, they know dinosaurs were big, but they don't realize the plants and animals, everything was just so magnificently tall, strong, intelligent, beautiful, whatever. Everything's been dumbing down in size for centuries. Exactly. And uh, Kristen, what is your thought on the ferocity? Why would God create something so ferocious as this? This? Is a, this is a question we get, you know, regularly. Why would God make animals that are meat eaters or that seem so terrifying, like something that big? But the thing is, that's not the way they were in the in the beginning. Before sin, um, even animals that eat meat now, they ate plants. So the Bible does talk about in the end, when things re are recreated, the lion and the lamb will live together again in harmony. So it wasn't ever intended to be like this, and someday it won't be again. So what we see today isn't necessarily what it was, and what we see today is not the way it's going to be, and that's good news. I'm John, and this is my lovely wife, Kristen. Kristen, <laughs> and we're the Lost World Museum. And thank you for watching our video. Those of you that do like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video.